Okay. Good afternoon, all of you. Welcome back to your online class. And in previous class, uh, we have discussed endoplasmic reticulum, then uh, Golgi body. Today, I'm going to discuss about lysosome. Okay, lysosome. Actually, this lysosome, this term was taken uh, from a Greek letter that is named as lysis and soma. And from this lysis and soma, we get the full name of lysosome. Here lysis, lysis means digestive and soma means body. So you get the term that is digestive body, isn't it? Understood, students? Am I audible? So lysosome, here it is coming from uh, two Greek words, lysis and soma. Lysis means digestive and soma means body, means a digestive body. Okay, so these are very small spherical in structure, spherical vesicle that is covered by a single membrane. Okay and which contain digestive enzymes. So, it is a spherical body-like structure, a single membrane structure, and inside it, show many digestive enzymes are found. Digestive enzymes are found. And some waste disposal are also found. Okay, waste disposal. So this is the structure of lysosome. Are you getting me, student? Students, okay. So I have told you that they contain digestive enzymes for intracellular digestion. Intracellular means within the cell. So digestion within the cell takes place or intracellular digestion takes place. Okay. So their function is in the intracellular digestion that is why they are also called digestive bag so they are also called digestive bags why they are called digestive bags because they contain intracellular yes say anyone Digestive juice. Okay. Am I audible, students? Let me know. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. I'm not getting any response from you. Okay. So, why they are called digestive bags? Now you understood. And that digestive enzyme that is also known as hydrolytic enzyme. Okay. Hydrolytic enzyme. Now, from where this enzyme is coming from? This enzyme is synthesized uh, from RER. So, from where this digestive enzyme, digestive enzyme or hydrolytic enzyme, from where it is coming to lysosome? Actually, the main site of synthesis of this hydrolytic or digestive enzyme is RER. So from RER, this enzyme is synthesized. Now, after that, we know that Golgi body is the main responsible organelle for formation of lysosome. We have already learned this thing in previous class now. So Golgi body packs that uh, digestive enzyme into a vesicle. Okay, 
into a vesicle or spherical structure that is known as lysosome are you getting me students are you getting me okay very good yes ma'am so we have done that uh, this digestive enzyme that is synthesized by rdr and that is packed into lysosome by the golgi apparatus okay golgi apparatus now lysosome fuse with the structure to be digested okay i'm repeating digestive enzyme as i have told you they are actually function as intracellular digestion lysosomes are yes i can tell your problem i can't see the screen yes so they are mainly responsible for intracellular digestion and they must have digestive juices this digestive uh, sorry digestive enzyme this digestive enzyme is also known as hydrolytic enzyme this enzyme is synthesized by rough endoplasmic reticulum and after synthesis of that enzyme these enzymes are packed into a vesicle like structure round vesicle or spherical like structure that is known as lysosome we have already learned that that golgi body form that lysosome so inside the lysosome there is presence of digestive enzymes here i have already written digestive enzymes and waste disposal are also present in okay so we have learned here now lysosome fuse with the structure to be digested so the structure with which uh, to which it must digest it does fuse with that structure and the enzymes are seldom released except when the cell has been damaged okay old organelles germs food particles etc fuse with lysosome for disposal by digestion okay now in damaged cell lysosome burst to release enzymes for digestion of cellular components so what happens in case of damaged cell lysosome burst to release enzyme for digestion and that is why we can see we can say that their ability to kill and digest the cellular component of the cell okay cellular component so lysosome is known as suicidal yes they can yes they can they are ca known as suicidal bug or suicide bug you can say suicide bugs understood these two terms they are also called suicidal bugs or suicide bugs okay now there is also the exception we have uh, learnt in endoplasmic reticulum and uh, golgi body there is also exception this uh, lysosomes are also uh, not found in case of plant cell and human rbc okay mammalian rbc this lysosome cannot be found in mammalian rbc so you must note down the exception okay so there we have come to know about lysosomes why it is called digestive bag and why it is called suicide bag okay everyone understood now comes to the main function of lysosome okay so here we have learned these two things now comes to function first of all first function is defense mechanism how can we say that uh, lysosome act as defense mechanism actually they helps in uh, destruction of foreign particles uh, like bacteria viruses so they provide protection to the body so that we can say they provide defense uh, they act as defense mechanism okay so function can you see the board left portion first one is defense okay they help in destruction of foreign particle like bacteria virus so that they can help our body or provide protection to the body next function that is digestion i have already told you digestion 
the helping intracellular digestion intracellular means within the cell digestion within the cell and intercellular means cell to cell okay so first function defense then digestion you can write intracellular digestion also here i am writing the main point third function is cleansing cleansing now actually they help in removing dead and uh, cell debris which are in our body which are found in our body and uh, worn out cell organelles okay so that we can say that they act as cleansing agent okay cleansing agent by digesting them by digesting them they help to clean or remove the dead or worn out tissue debris or cell debris so they are also called as cellular scavengers so due to this cleansing function they are also called cellular scavenger cellular scavengers everyone getting this point why they are called cellular scavenger yes okay now the next function that is known as metamorphosis now have you ever heard of this term metamorphosis have you ever heard of this term metamorphosis what is metamorphosis can anyone say ma'am change yes. from young one to adult uh, through physical changes yes very good physical modification it is a rapid change of organism uh, from one form of one form to another form just like uh, in case of butterfly form egg larva pupa adult these are very uh, fast change or rapid change okay this is known as metamorphosis okay so now how we can say that uh, lysosome plays a very important role in metamorphosis actually during metamorphosis larval organ uh, means as you know from larva then uh, pupa then adult okay larval organ is firstly uh, digested by lysosome so that it can be changes into adult okay got this point why this is um, this is very essential for metamorphosis lysosome are you getting this point yes again i am telling during metamorphosis the larval organs are digested by the lysosome to provide the raw materials for the formation of adult okay so we can say there is an important role of lysosome in metamorphosis so here we have finished this uh, lysosome or suicide bag in the next day we will discuss about mitochondria okay